Hi guys, how's it going? This is the kitchen fairy with another recipe vlog for indorecipe.com and for today's recipe it is homemade moon pie. Um, recently we went to Nashville and normally we would get moon pie but not this time so my youngest pretty upset about it but a box of moon pie is pretty expensive especially we only could get the ones from um, at the airport. Uh, so yeah, this is almost like uh, my has my son, my oldest uh, my oldest son said this is actually wagon wheels but my youngest said no this is moon pie moon pie moon pie moon pie so check out the full video and i'll see you again bye for the dry ingredients this is one three quarter cup of flour with one tablespoon of cornstarch and a generous pinch of salt we're just gonna mix this and put to side now we're gonna cream half cup of unsalted butter, half cup of granulated sugar, and quarter cup of demerara style sugar, one egg, one yolk, and about one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're going to add in our flour mixture a little at a time. Wrap it and chill it. Now after resting for two hours, we're just gonna scoop it using our ice cream scooper or you can use one tablespoon measurement tablespoon and then roll into balls, nice round and then you want to flatten it. You can, you can flatten it with your hand or you can roll it with your rolling pin and place it on non-stick pan like so. Now we're gonna bake this on preheated 20 to 50 Fahrenheit for 8 to 10 minutes depending on your oven. Take out from the oven, cool it on baking pan for 5 minutes before moving it on to cooling rack. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fill the in center between two cookies, uh, our marshmallow fluff and we're gonna make sandwich cookies. So this marshmallow uh, puff only use sugars, dried egg white and flavoring so this is good if you are not um, consuming uh, gelatin made of animals or best if you're not lazy like me you can make your own marshmallow um, center so just spoon and smear it and then we sandwich it like so and repeat steps until all cookies are sandwiched. Now this is 270 gram of chipits, semi-sweet. We're gonna add about one tablespoon of vegetable oil. We're gonna microwave it until melted and combined. Add one tablespoon of vegetable oil. So this is 30 second intervals in the microwave until completely melted. and you want to coat it evenly like so 